the first thing to look for when you're dealing with a woman, when you meet a woman and you're talking to her, uh, one of the first things you want to get to uh, or find out, I'm not saying the first conversation when you meet her, but, you know, when things start to, you know, second date or you know, after y'all have sex or before, I don't know, whatever, but um, you want to find out soon as possible the relationship dynamic with her mother. You understand what I'm saying? The relationship dynamic with her mother, and you want to find out her mother's character. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. Now, again, you don't want to ask this when you go approach a woman. Hey, what's the re uh, relationship dynamic with your mother? What's your mother's character? No, you don't want to do that. You want to, uh, or on a first date where it's fun and lighthearted, you don't want to do that. But when things start to get a little, you know, when you start to see a little potential, the conversations are getting a little bit more deep, you want to start digging and prying for the relationship dynamic with her mother, um, and you want to find out her mother's character, right? Most women, I'm not going to say most, but there's a lot of women, man, in this country who have horrible, horrible relationships with their mothers. And I would argue that the masculine problem that women have today is you know, a lot of it has to do with we, they blame men, we blame men, yeah. And I, I, I believe in a way that, you know, behind every hoe is a hoe-ass dude. I believe that too still, and I'm going to always believe that. But um, I also believe that a large part of why a woman would even entertain a hoe-ass dude or why a hoe-ass dude is in a woman's life, whether it's her father or it's her boyfriend, is due largely in part to the mother, right? Um, a lot of women, again, in this country have horrible relationships with their mother. And the masculinity problem, if you really look into it, a lot of women who are masculine, very masculine, they have issues with their mother, a lot of them. Um, the mother is in competition with them. The mother is uh, verbally uh, and emotionally abusing them. A lot of women in this country emotionally abuse their daughters. Um, the mother has bad choices in men. The mother put them in unfavorable situations. The mother tore them down emotionally. The mother allowed, you know, uh, men to uh, SA them and molest them and grape them. And then the mothers did nothing about it after they came to them. That's a, that's a man, that, that goes on a lot, man. A lot of the times a young girl's get things done to them and they go to the, the, the mothers and the mothers protect the men. You see what I'm saying? It's a shitty, shitty thing. But a lot of uh, women go through stuff like that. Or the mother abandoned the daughter, right? And so you have to, when you don't have your mother's love and care, you have to guard yourself and protect yourself from the world. It makes you very guarded. It makes you very edgy. It makes you very uh, uh, aggressive and masculine. Or it makes you very, 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 very docile and overly pleasing to the point to where you're a, a person is draining. But typically, it's the, the first one that I said, more combative, more hostile, more aggressive, right? But that's due to having to fend for yourself as a child and fend and tend to your own emotions. And so you kind of shell up and become this hard person, right? You know, uh, yeah, most, a lot of women, and I'm not going to say most, but a lot of women in this country, man, what you see is the direct result, uh, largely in part due to the mothers, man. Um, and that's just something that we don't talk about. It ain't really my business because I'm not a woman. Um, I wish more women would come out for the women who are listening to this. I know a lot of content creator women listen to me and follow me. You guys should start talking about that more often because that's a problem that needs to be fixed. Fixed. We have to stop sweeping that under the rug. You understand what I'm saying? Now, women who, a lot of the times, women who have uh, bad relationships with their mothers or who have been abandoned by their mothers or their mothers betrayed them or let them down or emotionally abused them. A lot of these women have very, very bad character, especially when they're young, especially when they're young, because they don't, 
man, the, the, the power, and I'm going to get on this in a second, man, because it's in my notes, but the power of, of, of you know, a mother, a, a loving mother, the, the, the power that comes with that, man, is it, it'll heal this nation in. You know, it's, it's basically responsible. A mother, mothers are responsible for the heartbeat of the society. Daddy, daddies and fathers are responsible for the productivity of it, right? But, you know, a lot of women who have sh- uh, bad relationships with their mom ha- are very, character, very, very bad character because they didn't learn those necessary skills, man. They didn't learn to be nurturing. They didn't learn to be caring. They didn't learn to be uh, selfless. They didn't learn, you know, how to play along in groups and how to get along with people and, and how to share and be more empathetic and be compassionate and, and you know, do the right thing and, and you know, uh, being kind, being sweet. You see what I'm saying? And taking care of people. Those things that a mother teaches you, you know, emotional regulation, um, being in tune with your emotions, all that type of shit, nurturing people, caring for people, caring about people, caring about other people's feelings. You understand what I'm saying? Caring about other people's, you know, all of these are, are, are great feminine qualities that mothers have in them. And this is, they, they pass, mothers pass this on to their children, uh, boys and girls. Mothers pass this on. This is why when you see a little boy, when you see a little boy that, you know, the little boy may be rough, masculine, and, and all of this shit, but that little boy can also play play well with his friends and get along in groups and care about his friends and shit. That part of that little boy that can care and, and get along with people and look after his homies and, you know, look after his friends, care about his friends, care about the girls in school, all this shit, stand up to bullies, express himself, express his emotions – that part that they have good mothers, you see what I'm saying. They may also have good fathers, but those type of boys have good mothers. And what I'm saying is, mothers teach the children this, and this is something that women have instinctively in them. You see what I'm saying. So when a woman doesn't get this important piece, you get the narcissistic, emotionally abusive, uh, uh, selfish, uh, sociopath, borderline sociopath. Uh, uh, self-centered, uh, attention whoring, you get women with bad quality, masculine, combative, um, the need to be right, uh, destructive, rebellious. This is the type of woman you get when you have a woman who, especially, got abandoned by their mother. But this is the woman you, the type of woman you get when that mother, when that child or that girl doesn't have that type of connection with her mother. This is what you get. So uh, most women who have horrible relationships with their mothers have very bad character. It's, again, especially when they're young. Now, that's not to say that they can't come out of this and learn and grow and heal because a lot of the times they do as they get older and more mature. But when they're young, you mix this shit in with, you know, especially if they're pretty or guys always hitting on them. So now they're more extra stuck up. Guys are hitting on them, making them think that they hot shit. And guys are hurting them, hurting them and abusing them because they don't know how to pick the right men. Guys are running circles around them. Guys are fucking elite, fucking them and leaving them. The pressures of society on top of the bullshit that, you know, came with the horrible relationship from their mothers. You have a cocktail for a shitty woman, bro. You have a cocktail for a woman with very, very, very bad character. You understand what I'm saying? And again... You see this a lot when they're younger, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, that, those type of ages. A lot of women, um, some, some women mature out of it. They seek help. They get therapy. And a lot of the times women come across decent men, good, strong men, whether it be boyfriends or people, leaders at work or mentors or whatever, or you know, relationship encounters or romantic encounters with solid men like a guy like me. Right, they come into contact with solid men who kind of upgrade them out of that space. You see what I'm saying? And show them something different and show them a different world. You understand what I'm saying? But even then, it still be a little stain on women like that. But yeah, always pay attention to that. Right? Mothers, man, mothers are very important, man. And it's crazy how society, right, harps on the importance of fathers. And fathers are very important. Fathers are very, very important. 
But good motherhood is equally, if not more important, not just a mama in the house in the projects, but or, or a mama in a trailer park or a mama, or even if you're middle class that drinks wine and yelling at the kids all day. But a good mother is equally as important um, or more um, to a kid or child uh, just as a good father. You understand what I'm saying? A, a, a good mother is is as important or more important than having a good father. And that's real. And we don't talk about that enough in society. We tend to downplay motherhood, man. Motherhood is very, very important. And that's not these just even, man, women. Men who have horrible relationships with their mothers, those be some of the most dirtbag men to people in general, man. I, I know. The, the dudes that I know that don't have good relationships with their moms, man, they, they are some of the most horrible people that I know. You understand what I'm saying? Me, personally, though, I, I would rather... Um, I would rather a woman who has a good mother but a bad father versus the other way around. Like a lot of guys, when they choose women, they prioritize, oh, she has to have a strong father. She has to have a strong father. She has to have a strong father. Not me, man. I mean, that would be decent, but I would rather a woman have a solid relationship with her mother over the father because even if she's missing the father figure, that leaves room. that leaves room for you especially if she yearns for that type of shit, that leaves you room for you to come in there and upgrade. But if the woman has a shitty relationship with the mother or absent mother, not only do you have to upgrade, you have to fix bullshit. And a lot of the times you ain't equipped to do that. You, you understand your game ain't th- strong enough or you ain't no fucking therapist. So I personally would rather a woman who's longing for a father figure than a woman who's damaged um, by a bad mother, basically. That's just me. But I be trying to give you guys the game, man. I did a live stream a couple years ago about that. It's private now. Um, you know, mommy issues, title entitled mommy issues. It's private now. I don't know what was the reason that I made it private, but um, I did it a couple years ago. It was very, very thorough. I may redo it and uh, put it on this podcast. But, man, mommy issues, is that's a beast, man. They, it's, mommy in- issues are more detrimental than daddy issues. I can promise you that. Um, but yeah. Now I have a course that teaches uh, how to, uh, go, I, not how to, but uh, it goes in depth about uh, women with mommy issues, the, the, the type of things about their character, what to look for and shit like that. Um, because if, if I did that here, then it's gonna the whole podcast is going to be about that. Uh, but that course is how to vet women properly. And I am going to release that again soon. I did a, a flash sale a couple weeks ago, but I think I'm going to do that soon. So look out for it. Um, it's going to be a name your price, whatever price that you want to pay for the course. You're going to be able to pay for it, um, of course, with a minimum, maybe 20 bucks or something like that. But it's a very cool, it's a very thorough course, uh, how to vet women properly. So I'm going to. Um, I'm going to be releasing that again soon, but in that How to Vet a Woman Properly, I go into deep detail about women with mommy issues, right? So pay attention to that. 